What's going on, everybody? How's it going? Crypto Rick here, and I'm excited. Today, I really have no agenda. I just want to talk to you about the market, my viewpoint right now that we're really getting ramped up into this bull market, and really just a little bit about my strategy for the upcoming weeks and months, because I think this is the time. If you haven't jumped in yet to this market, I don't know what the heck you're waiting for. This is the time to get yourself bags in specific categories, specific projects. And that's kind of what I'm going to do today is just show you just a few minutes, a few different opportunities that I like that are not paying me for anything. Um, I just wanted to kind of talk to you about where I see this market going over the next few weeks, months, and probably the next year and how I plan on taking advantage of this. And once again, making this bull run one to remember. So with that being said, everybody, sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and jump right in. So as you guys probably know, I've been doing this crypto thing for a while. So I got into it in 2017. So now this is really my third bull market, technically my second full bull market that I'm going to experience. And I have been doing my best for the past six, seven years screaming from the rooftops to anybody who would listen and a lot of times those people that didn't listen i was still screaming at them that they got to get into crypto right you have to get into crypto i don't care if it's five dollars a week five hundred dollars a week or five thousand dollars a week whatever you could afford you should be putting it into this market i've been saying it for years and it's just continuing to to hold true so i've been fortunate enough to make some good decisions in this market and I wanted to kind of show you what I'm looking at right now because while we have seen some epic pumps, ladies and gentlemen, this is just the beginning. We're just now starting to see what is about to ex happen. And that's really just an explosion of certain segments, of certain projects onto the crypto scene. So for the next few minutes or so, I want to just sit back, kind of analyze some of these projects have a little bit of whiskey and uh, enjoy myself here with you guys because if you're not having fun in this space, you're doing this wrong. So that's what I'm here to do today is just have a little bit of fun and show you in the meantime as well. So overall market, healthy AF, right? Ethereum just about to hit that $3,000 mark before the ETF has even really hit the, uh, the doorstep. So again, Buy the rumor, sell the news event, probably just like you saw with Bitcoin, it'll shoot up. If there's an ETF, it'll dip back down from profit takers, but then it will also just come back up um, and surpass where it was. So expect a lot of volatility on some of those things. Expect dumps. I mean, 20, 30% overnight dumps in a lot of these projects. Those are buying opportunities. You should always have some USDT set aside, whether it's Tether or USDC or whatever it is, right? Some stable coins. I don't care which one you use. Have some set aside. Take profits along the way. Don't get sucked into those, those telegram things of never selling this, never selling that. Sell stuff a little bit along the way. Take your initials out. Put that back into stablecoin. Wait for some dips. Buy those dips. And know what you want to buy before... It's time to buy it. So what I'm here today to talk about is a few of the things that I'm keeping my eye on that I may not have purchased my full stack of. There's quite a few of those, honestly. One of those, Avalanche. So it exploded and then it kind of toned down, right? And then now it's kind of one of the underperformers right now. This is going to be a big chain for gaming. And GameFi, as we'll talk about in a little bit, is definitely a sector to keep your eye on. So if you don't have a ton of AVAX, that there to me, even at this price here, is a no-brainer for the bull run, okay? So on, on the top 100, it's gonna be really hard to go wrong, right? Really hard. So I like to sort this by the biggest losers, right? So all right, ASTR. I would take a look at that. Why is it down 12%? If there's no real rhyme or reason, it's just people shifting funds, that might be a decent buying opportunity, right? 
Now, that's just top 100 play. I love to find stuff in the top six or 700. You know, that $50 million market cap is a pretty good sweet spot. It's usually a pretty well-established team. They've got some good liquidity, probably on a uh, centralized exchange or two. So a lot of different reasons why that's a good market cap. And you can still go two, three, five, and 10X in a relatively short amount of time because they're not already in the billion dollar market caps. So keep that in mind, right? You're not gonna see a 10X from AVAX in a month. Probably not at all during this bull run, right? But you will see a three to four, right? That's that's gonna happen. So here in categories on CoinGecko, this is where a lot of the magic happens. So you can check out the smart uh, contract platforms, layer one solutions, right? What category is hot? Coin based venture portfolios. My eye is almost exclusive, almost exclusively on this sector right here in GameFi. Right, so you got ICP leading the way for market cap. Again, not a surprise, right? Immutable X, Beam, the Sandbox, uh, Axie. All these guys have already exploded. You got Gala, right? All these guys have exploded. What I'm looking for, who's going to explode this time in this bull run, right? You can absolutely bet there's gonna be gains on pretty much every single one of these probably every single one of these over the next month. So even if you were like, I don't want to risk much, I'm just going to put you know, my money in ICP. You're going to get a two to five X through the bull run, right? Not financial advice, but you just are. I mean, anybody that's been in this for long enough understands that. The whole market increases everything. So you will see some gains in every single one of these, but how are you going to make that 10, 20, 50, 100 Xs? Right? It's not by things that are already six, four, and one billion dollars. You gotta scroll down a little bit, right? You gotta take a look and be like, okay, what could go from 50 million market cap to 500, to a billion, to five billion? Because while that seems crazy, it's not. There will be ones on this list in this section right here, this $30 million section that are 300 or 500 million by the end of the bull run. They are, they're just, everybody knows that it's going to happen. It's a matter of finding which ones. Now, that's the trick, that's the key. So for me, it, it goes in deep, right? Who's supporting these things? What is going on with them? What's their development look like? Are they a studio versus just a game coin? You don't want it to tie to just one thing, right? So, you know, like this one here, playable games. It's three ULL bull kind of, right? But playable games. I made a video on this, man, it has to be like a year ago, maybe even longer. And look at them go, right? 38, 39 million, huge opportunity, huge upside still. So you can kind of come check them out, right? Let's take a look at their, you know, one year chart. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad at all. So this is their chart been pretty solid pretty solid growth but this is nothing if these guys blow up you're talking getting these to a billion dollar market cap is over a 20x right now is a billion dollars hard of course it's hard it's 100 million 200 million hard not in the peak of a bull run i mean we've seen some crazy crazy things so that's one that i have in my portfolio that i'll be keeping wag me games right we are gonna make it baby we are 50 million market cap. Again, tremendous, tremendous upside. It's already starting to pump right 300% up in the year. So maybe there'll be a little bit of a dip. But in my opinion, at the stage in the market that we're at, this isn't the time to wait for dips. In my opinion, you put a, if you want to put $1,000 into one of these, right? Say you want to do $1,000 into one of those two. I wouldn't put $1,000 into it right now. I'd put maybe... 300 into it right now, okay? And then if you see a dip, put another three, two, 300 into it, right? And if you see another dip, do that, right? DCA, dollar cost average. As the price dips, you don't run away because these are not meme coins that are gonna disappear tomorrow. These are legitimate projects, right? So playing it with a different hand, a different mindset is crucial. DCAing on, Meme coins with nothing is 
the fastest way to lose your capital. That should never be your primary focus. That's those are those are fun. Those are casinos. These are not casinos. These are more investments. These are projects. These are companies. These are teams. These are things that are are building ecosystems. Keep your eye on UFO gaming, right? Keep your eye on even gamer coin. Keep your eye right here. Ladies and gentlemen, Honeyland is going to absolutely explode, okay? The Central Games, right? These are the big ones. These are the big ones. Phantasma had a huge bull run last run. Not quite sure if they're going to catch on or not, but that was the same type of thing where it was like, okay, this is going to be a gaming platform, smart contract, blockchain. They had a lot going on. Uh, never quite developed into what it could, but if they come back with a with a vengeance, be ready for that, right? So again, there's so many opportunities here, and you can just see, right? KAP. What I would do here personally right now as well. Take a look at this one. Thirteen million dollar market or thirteen million dollar market cap, up fifty six percent in a week. While that seems crazy, it's only a th- $13 million market cap. So if there's something going on right now that's drawing attention, you are you could have an opportunity to find and discover something early, right? So got, joining their socials, following them, looking at their website, doing your research, doing your due diligence on all those things that are jumping out at you is 100% the way to do this. Look at this thing. It dumped. I mean, talk about a dump, like some sort of FUD or something, and it shot way up. This one here, MBD Financials, same thing, 164%. So there's a lot of different things here that we should be looking at, getting getting ourselves acclimated as to figuring out why, right? Why is this up 52% today? Why is this up 27% and this up 47%? Get into their communities, figure out the why. Figure out if this was a pump and dump. Figure out if you think this is the beginning of something crazy right because that's what happens is once the people start coming in and seeing what it is that's when the money starts flowing and it happens fast you go from 1 million to 50 million in just a couple days usually maybe a week sometimes right so when it happens it can happen really really fast so finding these opportunities in this sector here with teams you believe in with projects not just a hype to telegram but really some substance that is worth your view. So GameFi to me is the number one category you should be looking into. The number one category you want to spend your time researching. Find some good communities, right? There's some absolute mind-blowing communities out there, right? That have huge amounts of money that you have to invest even to take part in their community. So you have that opportunity as well to really just kind of dig in Get yourself in the right private groups, in the right inner circles, but that happens by joining these communities, having these conversations, and really learning about doing your own research and doing your own due diligence on these. So that to me is my number one. GameFi across the board. Do your research. Find your you know three to five that you're really interested in. Either wait for the dips for for your big buys, or if it's you know these low end. Uh, low market cap stuff. You can feel free to to ape ape away if it's uh, if it looks safe and secure enough. But again, just like I'm not gonna ask you for a commission if you bought something that I also bought. I don't expect you as a grown up to complain if you lose money. That's the most important part of crypto. Do your own research. Do your own due diligence. Don't buy something because the guy on YouTube talked about it. Utilize us, myself, and other people that create content to find projects you may not have heard about. So you can go and research and do your due diligence that way. Don't buy it because we talked about it. Go research it because you learned about it. Buy it because you like it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the secret to my success. So with that being said, get on over here for yourselves. Check it all out. Do your homework. Do your due diligence. Find your your right coins for your GameFi portfolio. And enjoy this wild, wild bull run that we have really just started. It's only just begun. And I, for one, am very excited. So 
Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your time. And until next time, happy crypto hunting.